Let's go to the Coromandel now where it's been a chaotic old start to the school holidays. Heavy rain, flooding roads uh, caused slips and stranded people in their cars. More than 175 millimetres of rain fell on the peninsula overnight, closing State Highway 25 and the roads to the seaside towns of Pauanui and Pairua. Somewhere in the region of 200 people were forced to spend the night in their cars at Prescott's garage in Hikawai. Our reporter Mohammed Hassan has been there. I spoke to him shortly after State Highway 25 reopened. Hi John, well the State Highway 25 reopened at around about 3 o'clock this afternoon after well over 20 hours of it being closed and people here stranded not knowing when uh, the floodwaters are going to recede and when they're going to be able to get back home. There was also a lot of issue of people trying to get to Pawanui. Uh, that road wasn't officially closed but floodwaters had flooded a uh, small section of it and it was impossible for cars to get uh, there or back. So, Mohammed, how many people were forced to spend the night in various places, including Bill's garage? So, John, I'm standing outside Bill's garage now. It's pretty empty at the moment, but uh, last night there were around 150 people that were here that were stranded. They didn't know where to go. Uh, they were on their way to Tairoa, they were on their, on their way to Pawanui, but they found themselves in the middle of nowhere, uh, having to park up on the side of the road. Some of them had to sleep here until civil defense came in and kind of told them to move a little bit out of the way. Most of them are gone by now. But I was here a little bit earlier today, uh, a few hours before State Highway 25 was reopened, and a few people had showed up expecting roads to be cleared and realizing that they were going to have to wait a little bit longer. Once that flood water had receded and low tide had hit and civil defense gave the clear, they were quite relieved that the rainwaters had finally stopped and they could uh, finally get to where they were going. Auckland man Ian Denzer had driven to Pawanui yesterday on a day trip to check out his batch when he found himself stranded on State Highway 25 as he tried to return home. Yeah, no, great timing and we've got a nice low car so we can't get through the water either. So, and that's what you're doing now, you're, you're kind of waiting for things to... Yeah, we've been waiting here for about three hours. Three hours? Yeah, no, we've been watching the paint dry, so to speak. Wow, you, 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 you're very patient. <laughs> yep, that's right, yeah. But I, I suppose you don't want to get, you, you don't want to risk it with a car yeah, no, like that. No, no, we've got a beautiful loan car here, BMW, from... Uh, $140,000 and we're very paranoid about uh, sending it back water damaged. Oh man. And so what, so, so what was it like three hours ago? Well the fence post over there, it's, it's dropped well over a foot from the, from the fence post and, and um, but there's been about well, 150 cars go through now so I think we're going to be the last. <laughs> Lucky last. Joe Thompson's family has been holidaying in Pawanui since 1974. Her son got there yesterday afternoon, but Joe wasn't so lucky. My son came through yesterday morning about uh, 10 to 12. He was travelling in a ute. He got through OK. We were meant to follow behind a few hours later, but of course we were too late and the road was closed. So here we are stuck on the other side. What do you think you're going to do now? Undecided. Might go to Whangamata for a couple of hours. We're hoping we might get through later on tonight. Yeah. And you said that you tried to catch the ferry? Uh, apparently, well, we can't get through to Tyro. The council's closed that road. I've also heard the ferry driver's actually sick, so that may not be an option anyway. Mark Lewis had been heading to the Coromandel from Wairoa. We stayed last night at Tauranga, so we, we sort of checked the road conditions and we thought, well, maybe by the time we get here, it's going to be dropped enough for us to go through. So, yeah, yeah we're... Um, yeah, so we're stuck here at the moment. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, make it through. Yeah, and, and I mean, if things don't clear up, you're going to have to go around the we long way. We will have to go right around because we've got a funeral at 2 o'clock tomorrow, so yeah. um, one of my best mates, and um, so, yeah, we're uh, committed to go. The transport agency is warning motorists travelling to the Coromandel to be vigilant as rain is forecast until Friday. In Hikawai Foot Checkpoint, Mohammed Hassan.